Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about getting a minimum element from a stack. The explanation is completely based on the assumption that you already have some basic coding knowledge. If you are not good at basic coding, please visit our website learningmonkey.in. Take the course placement training for service based companies, then come for the competitive coding. Coming to today's class, given n elements you are going to give n elements task is to implement a stack we need to implement a stack means it should have push operation pop operation and get min operation extra operation what we needed get min operation that gives minimum element in the stack in big of one time this is what the difficulty is you should apply that big of one time means some constant amount of time Otherwise, getting the minimum element from stack is very, very simple. Go down and check the minimum element. But it is going to take a order of n. n means number of elements. But you should need it in a big go of one time. How we do that? How we do that? Let's understand. Push, pop should also be big go of one. So usually push operation is big go of one time and pop operation is big go of one time. So with example, we'll understand it better. Assume that this is the stack 15, 25, 11, 14 and 18. So push of x, pop of x and get min of x. If you, if you do the get min of operation function, if you call this function, what is the minimum element in this stack? 11. So your output should be 11. If you pop, if you apply pop operation, pop function, what is the element that it has to display? 18. You have to take out 18 and display it. Pop of 14 pop of 11 see the point here you have to understand whenever you pop 11 what is the minimum element that present in the stack after popping 11 when you pop 11 what is the minimum element 15 if you apply get min of it is going to display 15 if you push 10 15 25 10 push 30 15 25 10 30 get min off what is the minimum element in the stack 10 these are the operations we need to we need to write in this example but all the operations should be of time big go of one how we do that how we do that understand the logic we are going to use a new technique here so understand the technique properly maybe this technique will help you in some other situations this is very very beautiful mathematical technique which we are going to apply here so for that purpose we have taken this example take a variable in order to see in push operation pop operation we already know in order to get the minimum minimum element in order of one time we are maintaining a new variable min variable this min variable is going to keep track of always the minimum element present in the stack so min is equal to 8 so in this stack, in this stack, 15, 25, 11, 14, 18. What is the minimum element? 8. See, now if someone applied the pop operation, pop off, what is the topmost element? 8. When you take out 8, what is the minimum element in the remaining stack? 11 is the minimum element in the remaining stack. Now, min is equal to 11. How to maintain previous minimum? Whenever you pop 8, you need to keep on maintaining the previous minimum element. If you pop out 11, you need to maintain the previous minimum element. How to keep track of that previous minimum element? If you understand that logic, it's very, very easy. Now we'll understand how we keep track of previous minimum element. We go step by step. Let's take the this here. This example 15, 25, 11, 14, 18. The first element you are going to push is 15. Initially, stack is empty. So, whenever stack is empty, push the element onto the stack. What is the minimum element? 15. Keep track of the minimum element. What is the minimum element? 15. One element is there, that is the minimum element. Now, the second element is 25. Whenever you are going to do push operation 25, what is the minimum element now in the stack? 15. Is 25 greater than minimum element? Yes. So push it. No problem. After pushing, what is the minimum element? 15. Okay, you understand that. So this is one condition. If the element you want to push is 
greater than minimum element simply push it so now check the next condition what's the next element you want to insert you want to push 11 if you want to push 11 onto the stack so 11 what is the minimum element now 15 11 less than see x is equal to 11 min is equal to 15 x is the element which you need to push it is equal to 11 x less than min 11 less than 15 whenever this happens so we need to push 11 and min is equal to 11 but instead of pushing 11 we push 7 why why we have pushed 7 you have to understand this point how you got this 7 value because this 7 value is keeping track of the previous minimum element what is the previous minimum element 15 this 7 is going to help you in tracking the previous minimum element how it is going to keep track of the previous minimum element understand it mathematically so whenever x is equal to 11 and min is equal to 15 instead of pushing 11 and make min is equal to 11 you do like this 2 multiplied by 11 11 you need to push it instead of pushing that 2 multiplied by 11 means we are taking 2 times 11 minus what is the previous min M means min is equal to how much 15 so 2 multiplied by 11 minus 15 which you got 7 instead of pushing 11 push 7 onto the stack maintain min is equal to 11 so one point you have to understand here 2 multiplied by 11 twice minus twice minus a bigger element previous element previous minimum means it is all the, it is bigger than 11 so always this operation is always the output which you are going to get from here 2 multiplied by 11 minus 15 always less than 11 less than 11 you have to understand me because multiplied by 2 twice minus big element twice 11 minus big element always less than 11 so you are going to push 7 instead of 11 we are pushing 7 so now after pushing 7 what is the minimum element min is equal to 11 so now try to understand how this 7 is going to keep track of the previous element so if you want to pop 7 then pop off what is the element you are going to pop it is 7 7 what is the minimum element now 11 so 7 less than min which 7 less than what is the minimum element 11 7 less than 11 whenever this happens 7 less than 11 you do like this 2 multiplied by minimum element which is 11 minus what you popped from the stack 7 2 multiplied by 11 minus 7 which is 15 how you got this 15 is the previous minimum element so whenever you pop 7 you are getting the previous minimum element whenever you pop 15 you are going to get the previous minimum element that is how it is keeping track of because this is exactly opposite of this 2 multiplied by 11 minus 15 you got 7 2 multiplied by 11 minus 7 you will get 15 so this simple mathematical technique we are going to use here let's continue the example let's continue the example we will do two more operations so that you will understand it better so what is the element that present here 15 25 instead of 11 what we have pushed here 7 this is the stack up to now so let's continue next element is x is equal to 14 what is the minimum now 11 x greater than or equal to min yes 14 greater than or equal to min so directly push it 15 25 7 14 don't change the min element nothing directly push it now take x is equal to 8 if you want to push 8 what is the minimum element now 11 instead of pushing 8 if, if you want to keep track of the previous minimum when you push 8 onto the stack what is the previous minimum 11 if you want to keep track of this what you do 2 multiplied by 8 minus 11 which is equal to 5 push 5 instead of push 8 push 5 and now min is equal to 8 
whenever you, if you want to pop 5 what is the minimum element at this stage min is equal to 8 if you want to pop 5 5 less than 8 what you need to do 5 less than or equal to less than 8 so what you need to do 2 multiplied by 8 minus 5 which is equal to 11 you got the previous minimum element so min is equal to 11 now after popping 8 so that is how that is how we keep track on of the whenever you pop 11 the previous minimum element is 15 you will get it here that is how we keep track of the previous minimum element hope you understand understanding this logic based on this logic write the push operation pop operation and get min operation get min operation is very very simple just display the min element push operation means we have two conditions if less than or equal to or greater than greater than or equal to or less than pop operation if it is less than do something so these conditions you have to write in the push and pop operation so we are going to display the code here our our suggestion is try to solve it on your own then check for the coding part you try to write the code on your own after listening to the logic you try to practice it and write the code anyhow the coding is available in our website learningmonkey.in so you can you can copy the code and you can use the code so this is the coding part Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.